Chicago's homicide rate has surged 31 percent so far this year, and there's still four months more, uh, more to go. Now, this month alone, there have been at least 38 homicides, and a lot of victims end up at Cook County Hospital, where the trauma unit is stretched thin by the city's surge in violent crime. Ted spent a day with its doctors and nurses. Take a look. 12.30 a.m., a 22-year-old a gunshot victim arrives at the Cook County Trauma Unit. Uh, oh, 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 what's, what's hurting most? What hurt? here? He's in pain, but stable and able to speak. Okay, well, listen, well, listen, well, listen, well, listen, 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 where are you? Okay, okay. Just, just slow down and relax. After rolling him on his side, doctors start counting the holes. Four, five, six, six definite ones. And maybe were you, a couple what were you doing yeah. when this happened to you, when this happened? I was walking. They end up finding 13 bullet holes. Each one is bandaged until doctors can see the x-rays. Then they'll need a plan to save this man's life. Meanwhile, two more patients have just arrived, adding to what feels like chaos. But to the staff, I'm Dr. Dennis, including I'm attending boss, physician Dr. Andrew Dennis, it's just another normal day in a Chicago trauma unit. Patients keep coming and they come and they come and it's like machine gun fire. You can expect this to happen every single night. Like the city of Chicago's homicide rate, the Cook County Trauma Unit's patient count is up about 30 percent from last year. On this night, there'll be seven gunshot victims and two stabbing victims. That's in addition to 18 others involved in battery cases or motor vehicle accidents. Upstairs in the operating room, a 29-year-old gunshot victim is in surgery. Can I have a big Richardson, please? Yes. Doctors opened up this man's stomach and removed this 9-millimeter bullet. He has damage to his intestine and tailbone, but is expected to survive. The trauma unit treats everyone from start to finish, beginning with emergency care, surgery if needed, and then follow-up. Unfortunately, some of these patients come back. So what happened to your leg here? New wounds reveal old ones. The x-rays for the gunshot victim in bed two show gunshot pellets from a previous shooting. So now I got metal all over him. I don't know what's new and what's old. And look at this man's scar. It shows where he was shot at point blank range with a shotgun last year. Dr. Dennis handled that case. Close your eyes. There are some patients that can be difficult to deal with. This guy was stabbed by his girlfriend and came in intoxicated. That shank in my back. I'm going to stay fresh to the day I die. What's up, boo? Muslim, baby. Security is high. Some patients have police officers actually with them, trying to get information from them as they get treated. A group of detectives showed up to talk to the victim with 13 bullet holes, who, according to the x-rays, may now have a major problem. So how did this get here is my question. Gotcha. It either went this way or it came out from the arm. A bullet in his shoulder may have traveled through his chest, which could be life-threatening, so Dr. Dennis orders more x-rays. Dying is common here. These death packets with information for families are sitting out on a table ready to use. There's a lot of death that happens here. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Not all of it is violence, but a good portion of it is violence. It's after 2 a.m. when the x-rays come back. The 22-year-old with 13 bullet holes is in the clear. The bullet that was a concern came through his arm. He was sent home the next morning, leaving the bed open for the next person, who, unfortunately, will be arriving soon. Ted, is this the only trauma unit in the city? No, actually there are five level one trauma units in the city of Chicago. Three of the five Anderson have seen an uptick in business, unfortunately, because of the increase in violence on the streets of Chicago. Here at the Cook County Trauma Unit, they see an incredible 5,000 patients a year.